Hello and welcome back to our Shooter Bot AI series. In this extra episode, we're going to go through and add a hearing perception component to our AI so that if we shoot near them, they will hear the shot and then turn and investigate that location. So let's get started with this. Now, the first thing you need to do is add a hearing perception to our AI. So let's go to the AI controller, click on AI perception, and we're going to add a new senses config to this. And we're going to choose the AI hearing config and we can tweak some of the settings if we want here uh, for the senses. But most importantly, we just want to do is turn on the affiliation for all three options. Um, so once done here, click compile and save that. We'll come back to this later to add in some extra code here. Next, we need to actually be able to send and report a noise event. So let's go to the player character shooting behavior. So we'll click on the shoot the player character here and click on there blueprint and we're going to look at their shooting behavior which is over here and fire bullet now when we do fire bullet over here we're going to just tell it to report a noise event so report noise event the noise location is going to be coming from the player's location so get actor location and the loudness will leave at one instigator will put down as uh, self so it knows who caused the uh, the noise uh, max range will leave at zero and tag will leave at none so what this does it will report a noise event out and then any AI perception will listen out for it and react accordingly so if I push play now and turn on the characters uh, noise events here so there's sight and there's the noise one, the yellow one. So he can hear those inside that range. So if I'm outside the range, nothing happens. But if I get inside the circles, and get there. That noise event is being picked up and reported here. So the next job is to get him to actually look at and investigate this point here. And he knows roughly in that area he is, is where he wants to go. So let's go back to our bot AI. Now we've got handle sight sense. We also want to make a different one for handle hearing sense. So I'm going to create a new function, call it handle hearing sense. And like the sight sense where we got the AI stimulus as an input, we also want to do the same for the hearing. So on inputs, AI stimulus. And that'll be a stimulus. There we are. So on the AI stimulus, we're going to track this down and break this. Now, likewise, we have a can see player. We're also going to have a can hear player boolean as a blackboard value. So get the blackboard reference. And from there, we're going to set a value as ball. Plug that into the successfully sensed. Now, what this means is that when the play, when the AI hears something, it will be true. And when it forgets that noise because it's uh, expired or gone out of range, it will be uh, turned to false. So in key name, we can do make literal. And just put in the name here of can hear player hit compile and save that and that's what we have to do really here uh, for now uh, so we're going to close this and go into our behavior tree in our behavior tree we've got two branches at the moment we've got a patrolling branch and we've got a shooting branch or chasing branch but we have a third option here one where they're investigating something so don't haven't directly heard us or seen us right they now have just going to a location where they suspect us to be so that's going to be a third branch that goes off to the far left here so it's the first one it checks whether or not it's investigating so we're going to do sequence and in there we're going to right click add decorator blackboard and this is going to be checking if can hear player is true so we go to blackboard choose a uh, new key ball can hear player 
save, go back to the behavior tree, and on the blackboard base condition for this sequence, we're going to choose our targets, uh, so you can hear player, and that can be is set. So we're going to make the observer bolts here equal to uh, both, so it will give up its current branch and lower branches if it is set to true. However, there's an issue with this, and that is if we are shooting the gun whilst they are shooting at us, that will then cancel out because it, that can here player will become true and it will go to here. So what we need to actually do is add another blackboard base condition to this. And this one's going to be checking the target actor. So this one would be target actor. And checking for that it has not been set. So set it to is not set. And we're going to make it abort self. If that changes, it will abort itself. And we want this to be the first condition it checks. So I'm going to drag this to the top here and make sure that's the first one it checks there. On the sequence, we're going to simply just do uh, move to. And the move to is going to be set to target location but with a large acceptable radius. So this would be, let's say, uh, 300. But it doesn't know exactly where the sound came from. It knows roughly where the sound has come from. So all that's left to do is get that target location. And for that, we're going to go back to our AI controller. At the end of our hearing sense here, we're going to check to see if successfully sensed was true or not. So we can put that into a branch. And if that was true, we're going to take the stimulus location and send that over to the blackboard. So get blackboard. Set vector value like so. Make literal name and put in the name of target location. And as I said, that's going to use the, the uh, stimulus's location, or the player's location in this case. There. Yeah. Compile and save that. So all that's left to do now is to put this function onto our event graph here. So we're going to go add a new switch on the string here. We're going to add a new case. And we're going to put in AI sense underscore hearing. And then from there, we're going to pull in our handle hearing sense. And we're putting the stimulus. And we're done. What I just have to do is to test this out. Okay, so he's now patrolling. If I were to shoot up here, he should change his location he's going for. Uh, if I'm in range, I'll just get within range of him. So let's shoot here. So now he's turned around. And he's coming back to me. And and now we can And now you got a shootout. There you go. So now we've got a hearing and a investigation sort of branch on our behaviour tree. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any further suggestions for stuff you want to see added to this in terms of AI, please let me know in the comments below. If you want to watch more of my content, you can find more over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley and you watch all of my content from just $1 a month. Big shout out and thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. It really is amazing. I can't thank you enough. Now, if you happen to be watching this and you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It does help out a lot. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.